Imagine living in a place with no sunlight for four months of the year, where the mercury drops to minus 40 before even factoring in the wind chill. I'm talking about a climate research lab located in Eureka, Nunavut. A team of Canadian researchers are preparing to head over to the secluded station, where they will live in close quarters and conduct a series of environmental tests in pitch black darkness. Joining me to discuss exactly what the weather station does and what it's like to live there is Pearl site manager Pierre Fogel. Thank you so much for being here this morning. Good morning. All right, listen, a lot of people across this country, we like to complain about our commutes. Talk to me about what your commute is going to look like. Ah, so when we leave uh, Toronto, um, we will fly generally to someplace like Yellowknife. And from um, Yellowknife, we will board a chartered aircraft, uh, usually the next day. And that's a seven to eight hour flight with uh, two stops for refueling. All right, so yeah, so it's a, it's a nice casual drive. Now, as I said before, it gets as cold as minus 40 in Eureka without factoring in the wind chill. But tell me what it feels like to step outside into that cold. We think we know cold in this country, but that's cold. Yeah, and uh, minus 40 is actually a typical temperature. It'll actually get to below minus 50. Wow. And, um, well, you, you really want to take care to be properly dressed and to have uh, all your exposed skin covered up and uh, not to breathe too fast because that uh, cold air uh, does not feel so good in your lungs either. Oh, boy. All right, so this lab is called Pearl, and apparently it does things that other labs can't do. You can take measurements there and readings that you can't take anywhere else. Talk to me about the work that you're going to be doing and how it's going to be changing our understanding of weather and global warming. Okay, so our next trip to, uh, to Eureka and to Pearl will happen at the end of February, and uh, we are going to uh, watch the sunrise. So the sun will rise on February 20th. And uh, what Pearl does is to measure atmospheric constituents and other atmospheric parameters. Um, basically, what makes up the atmosphere and uh, how it uh, moves around. Uh, Pierre, this is the question that I've really wanted to ask you all morning. You can't go outside. There's nobody around. There are no bars. What do you do for fun up there? Well, actually, um, we do a lot of things for fun. We have a well-equipped uh, recreation room at the uh, weather station. And um, there's a gym. Um, we uh, have satellite TV. And uh, we do a lot of reading. We do a lot of work, actually. That takes up most of our time when we're there because we're there for a compressed schedule. Um, and um, you know, we go for walks outside if it's not too cold. Um, and uh, we even have an amateur radio station up there. Pierre, I know that you said that the sun is eventually going to come up in late February, but how do you and your staff handle that amount of darkness? Well, everyone has a different coping strategy. Uh, you, you get used to it, basically. And um, so right about now, they'll be seeing the first hints of daylight around noon. They'll see a bit of blue on the horizon. And um, once the sun starts to come up, we gain sunlight fairly quickly, something like uh, 20 to 40 minutes a day. Um, and uh, so, you know, we, we uh, stick to a schedule, meals at our defined time, and uh, we work around uh, a schedule so as to we have some semblance of, uh, you know, a daily uh, routine. Uh, Pierre, we've all seen movies of people, scientists, going up to remote locations and getting marooned. What happens? Do you have a plan if you get snowed in or if a group of polar bears decides to hang out by your front door? Yeah, we, we have several plans, in fact. Um, so we have three facilities that make up Pearl. Uh, and the furthest is about 15 kilometers from the weather station. Um, and we have had folks stranded up there. Uh, so we check the weather very carefully either way uh, before departing. And um, we have had the occasional uh, disruption along the drive. Um, so, you know, we, we do have a lot of um, uh, regulations and, and rules and best practices in place to make sure that we stay safe. Uh, Pierre, my last question is probably my most important. What is your pre-Pearl going away party going to be like? And can I come? Uh, well, I've done it so many times now that uh, I don't have a party anymore, so I'm sorry, but uh, you're <laughs> going to have to miss out on that one. Pierre, you just broke my heart, my friend. But we appreciate your time. Pearl site manager Pierre Fogel, thank you very much, and best of luck on this next trip up north.